Hey, this is Nick and welcome to What's on Tap. Today, we're gonna to be talking about hydrometers. It is one of the most commonly asked questions from a new brewer. What this does is this simply measures the density of liquid or how much sugar is dissolved within water. So to show you what I'm talking about, I'm gonna take some regular old Minnesota tap water and dump it into this test jar. If this tap water is clean and pure, it should read 1.00 on our hydrometer right here. And she floats at 1.000. Now, to give you an idea of what's going on, we will add some plain priming sugar, just like you're gonna get in your kit. Take that, add it to our Erlenmeyer flask, and we'll give her a swirl to dissolve. We'll take another sample, put it into this here test jar, and we'll take another reading. Remember last time, pure water, was at 1.000. This time, at about 1056, 1054. Over time, during fermentation, the density of the liquid will drop as the yeast consume the sugar and convert that into alcohol. Now, alcohol is lighter than water, less dense than water, and the sugar is removed, so your hydrometer will slowly start to sink again. Now, after everything is all said and done, you take your initial reading and your final reading and you subtract your final gravity from your original gravity and multiply by a constant and that will give you your alcohol content. On a standard hydrometer, there are three scales. You're looking at here, the specific gravity scale. Specific gravity runs from 1.00 all the way to somewhere around 1.16. On this side, we've got our potential alcohol. Now, if your beer started at 15 and fermented all the way back to zero, you would have a 15% beer. On this side, you have bricks. Bricks generally isn't used by brewers, but if you do want to use it, you definitely can. A general rule of thumb, if you multiply your bricks units times four, you end up with specific gravity. To give you another example, here is a can of undiluted fast pitch. So this is gonna have a much higher sugar solution than even what we just made, because it's undiluted fast pitch. Spin it to get the air bubbles off. We come out at 180 which if that fermented down to zero, as you can see on the other end, would be 10%. There's 10% potential alcohol here. Doesn't mean there's alcohol here, but if that fermented all the way back down to 1.000, that would yield a 10% beer. So now hopefully you have a little bit better understanding of how a hydrometer works. It's not rocket science, it's actually pretty basic. So thanks a lot, thanks for joining me. I'm Nick, this has been What's on Tap, cheers. No, not beer yet. Don't drink that. Mm -mm.